She's out here. She's yeah. got pneumonia. She's but she's directed. here. <laughs> and why is she here? Because she, she loves, loves making movies. movies. <laughs> That's why we're here. And why are we here? Because we love <laughs> making <laughs> movies. It's not even cold right now. Um, I heard about this project in our uh, uh, DF4 class, digital filmmaking 4 class. Um, our future director, Caitlin, pitched the idea of a uh, monster in the Buffalo River and a few students uh, going to look around for it. And the story seemed pretty intriguing and when her script was selected, I was pretty pumped about that and then I found out I was going to work on her team. so. I so even more excited about it, and it's been uh, quite an adventure trying to get this movie off the ground. It's about these two cousins, uh, Levi and Hope, and their family has kind of been like plagued with this rumor that their grandfather was a murderer, and they know it not to be true because they believe the stories he says when he says that this like great beast Tarak was the one who did it. And they're out here trying to find it, only the beast ends up uh, finding them first and tracking them, and it becomes a fight to survive. It's just like a, a knowing aspect of it. Um, they know that their grandfather is telling the truth, and that's good enough for them. It's kind of like a coming-of-age um, thriller, in a sense, uh, the way they bond together in family and friendship, and their friend Campbell kind of tags along, and that's a little bit of the humorous conflict. Uh, the characters basically, I see it almost, it, it reminds me a lot of myself, actually. Um, you know, he's just an adventurer. He loves the outdoors. Um, sometimes his arrogance gets the best of him. Really? Would you just stop messing around? Hope is a very strong-willed, bold, independent woman who pretty much takes charge of everything and doesn't quite trust um, anyone to do the job other than doing it all herself. It's not like you're even taking this seriously. We're tracking the legendary beast. Remind me again how I'm supposed to take this seriously? Because it's not like we're going after the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot, Campbell. You, uh, want to be Werner Von Braun, got the whole cops called on us. It's just a couple of highly explosive rockets that may or may not have burnt down the barn. <laughs> An attractive but nerdy boy named Levi that likes science and wants to find a monster. And I'm a nerd and I want to find Bigfoot. And I do okay with the ladies, so. Get on the water! I was totally and completely blown away by our actors. They were awesome, they went above and beyond, and I was totally blown away by their professionalism, how seriously they wanted to take the role. Crew, we were a little under crewed, um, kind of last minute stuff happened, and our crew kicked butt and took names when it came to just helping out, like no one, there wasn't anyone who just did one thing. Everyone helped out in another way, in some form or fashion. Whether it was, you know, you were a grip for this scene, or, you know, you ran and got waters and you were walking the dog. Everyone pitched in, and I really don't think, I don't think I could have had a better crew than what I had. Hunter's going to do some work with this vest right now. Uh, what are you going to do with the vest? It's gonna glide it out, man. You gotta be one with the best. It's gotta be just like an extension of your body. The overall budget that we had was a thousand dollars. We were able to get the rock house that we stayed at for, you know, like around six hundred bucks. Um, and food and everything was. 200, 300. This is my victory meal. <laughs> and really, we were able to borrow a lot of our equipment so we didn't have to buy a lot. Wild Bills let us borrow their canoe for free. And we've just had a lot of people let us borrow stuff. And that's been really helpful. So thank you to everyone who's let us borrow and that has donated to this film. We really appreciate it. Um, everyone who contributed to Indiegogo. And yeah. It's not filmmaking. Everything goes right. Unlucky things that happened on production. Well, you guys will never know this until now that I'm telling you, but our director, Caitlin, had pneumonia in her lungs, so that was fun. We had a dog that was set up to be our beast. I may not have gotten the exact same dog, but I still got an animal with four legs and a tail, and she was in a dog shape. Um, Willow ended up actually being really good on set. I think that like her playfulness really kind of helped the morale, especially when we were kind of feeling kind of because it was so cold. And we were in the water. 
and walking up and down a mountain several times is no one's cup of tea. How do you feel? Cold. I feel very cold. Freeze. I feel good. I feel cold. It's very chilly. I have a hat now. I'm ready for anything. Can I make a petition to write out the scene yeah. where I give her my jacket? Is that... I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> cold. I can't feel my face. But I bet my pores look really nice. <laughs> Taking off the jacket, I'm just going to be standing there like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have... <laughs> I'm just cold. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just cold. I'm awake. No doubt about that. It's pretty cold out here. But we're working and it's, it's all gonna be awesome. I nearly got one of the cars stuck because, um, me, I don't think about the fact that rocks can't sink. Is it was it running hot? I did I didn't look at the meter. It was fine. I just threw it in reverse and it was like, no, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. I'm never making a film again. <laughs> we kind of ran behind schedule a little bit, but that's totally normal. I was ready for that. I feel like despite the fact that we ran behind, everyone was still in good spirits because Hunter um, Moore, our camera op, had watched this documentary about Quentin Tarantino and you just see a split second where he stops and they're on like take nine and he's like, okay, well let's do it again and everyone kind of groans and he's like, okay now, he's like, why are we here? And everyone has to say, because we love making movies. Street. It's called The River Wild, and I really love that movie, and so I really wanted to come out here and film on the buffalo, because it's gorgeous, and I just thought it would be an awesome place to film the thriller. We've all been rolling with the punches, um, so I've had a great experience. <laughs> and that's how we make movies. And that's why we're here, because we love making movies. And honestly, we don't have skills to do anything else. Pop quiz, we got you. Boom. Yeah.
Turn it on, Chandler. We need to go. Nailed it. <laughs> improv high five! Woo! And then another improv high five, because we didn't think about it. <laughs> ah, Jesus, it's too cold for that. <laughs> oh, that was the worst high five ever.